Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Wee Rose Cradle. I have been so extremely busy lately. I've been helping um, my dad's common-law uh, organize more of my dad's things. <laughs> now I know where I get my collecting from <laughs> and my hoarding. <laughs> it's, it's definitely from my dad. <laughs> But you know what? I'm so grateful that he is like this because now I have so many of his treasures. I just want to share with you quickly how I'm doing with the nursery room because it has changed since my sons were here for their Christmas break. I have one son who does not care for the dolls at all. <laughs> he doesn't want to look at them. And then I have my other son who doesn't mind at all about the dolls but um, because they were taking turns sharing the room I had to remove most of the dolls and cover some up so I want to share with you of what I've added to the home from my dad's things and how my nursery room is now and how it needs more work um, so yeah stay tuned So, to start with, this is um, a picture that was in my dad's room. Um, my dad had a painter friend, so those are original. He built the frames, he painted it, and he uh, there's nails on the back, and an old, old, like, wire string, and yeah, it was in my dad's for many, many years. I'm sad it has a little nick right there. I'm not quite sure what happened, but, um, yeah. I don't want to move the camera too long. This is a Buddha, the brass one, that my dad had in his collection since I was a baby. Sorry. Maybe I'll... This, this, these are the plants that my dad also loved having in his home. When they get really, really tall, uh, Nancy, his uh, Kamala, will uh, cut them down and then gift them to whoever wants them. And this year I received uh, this one. And I have another one behind me. It's a lot smaller though. So, but yeah, you start them out with water until the stems grow roots and then you can plant them. So this is my dad's Buddha that I used to love most of my life. It was really old. See, I, that, I bought myself a, a replica one <laughs> back at the dollar store. But um, these are my grandmother's and my grandfather's Bible, which is really, really cool. Let's see. 1916. This is my grandmother, Lulu Black, from Mrs. Sturgeon. And it's too bad I can't read. To Lulu Black, now, oh, from Mrs. <laughs> and this one should be my grandfather's, which is. Um, there's a lot of clippings that they also saved. This one must be, um, this is from my uncle's graduation in the back. But anyways, that's my grandfather, Louis. And I wonder if there's a date. Well, it was printed in 1912. But yeah, there's a few clippings. And you know what, guys? In my grandmother's... Wait, I wonder if there's anything at the back. Wait. 
I'm not left handed. I don't think so. My grandmother's has Oh, I didn't see this. 1918. My grandma's had theirs, like, um, I don't want to hurt, hurt the Bible <laughs> too much. There is a lock of hair in here. Somewhere. Oh, can wait, can I pause it? Now look, there's actual hair, and I think this belonged to my grandmother's mother, so it's quite a lot of hair. So I'll put that back nice. Um, try not to... <laughs> That was my grandmother's, that purple. These I've shown before, that my dad gifted me these before he passed, but these were my dad's. This is a necklace, and this is a seal made by my grandfather, Noah. And this was my dad's. I don't know who made this one though. And these were my dad's. I re they all three of them had like a, a swordfish bone. This is all made out of bone. But um, I don't know if anything is underneath. I don't want to wreck it. This is what my mom brought back. This is new, so. <laughs> but here's my dad. Um, my brother wanted his parka. is really authentic. He used to work in the Arctic. He was a meteorologist. In fact, I have, these are his patches that I will put up on the wall. Like he did. I'll just sit on my couch. So he earned these when he was stationed in the Arctic. And he had another one of these, but it was, all, he put it up on his wall. And he's a smoker, so it turned, it's all yellow and stuff. But this one still looks like brand new. Um,. This is when he worked in Resolute, in the latitude, that's how far north it is, the Canadian Youth Weather Station. He also worked in Alert, which is the furthest north ever, latitude 82 degrees. But he said it was extremely close to the North Pole. There's one. Mold Bay. There's a latitude and longitude. Northwest Territories. He worked in Eureka. And that's a latitude 80 degrees. The second most highest place that he's ever worked. You know what? I thought Eureka was the most northern point of, of a community. But I guess it was um, alert. But Eureka is very far north too. And he also worked in Isaacson. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I will be putting these up on my walls. I'll show you more. So this is my dad's rock collection that I was telling many people about. He actually organized everything. And back in the day, in the 60s, they only had a typewriter. <laughs> And he typed these all out. That's his inventory. And what he did 
was that he had he has them all categorized and even numbered. So isn't that cool? I ha I fixed the bottom drawer for him because it was the back piece was out. That one is missing the. But anyways, <laughs> but yeah, it's filled with. Let's see how many. It has two pages. Oops, up to 140 different. Look at the quartz, and they're real. Um, they're real. So it looks like that he went up to 122, but then he was still collecting after that. Because it's just handwritten. <laughs> it smells like my dad's house. Yeah, I'll just quickly... He was really into science a lot. He loved being a meteorologist. He also collected coins, stamps, and money, which I also have. This is his special binoculars. He even had a label maker from summer. These are so heavy, they're, and they're so old. Up there and there's a strap um, as well but it broke so I just put it in I can't do that one handed oh quickly move up my partial silicones are in there that's an authentic harpoon as some of you may know, my biological mother is Inuit, so I do have a lot of Inuit uh, art artifacts, I guess. That's, my dad made that lamp, and his jewelry box, and his shoes are up there, his wallet, his watch. Uh, that's his belt, just hanging out on top of his shoes. So, yeah. Yes, I got that for Christmas. I can't wait to use it. Um, this one and this one is from my grandmother's house. So I just put them in the hallway. It's kind of bare in here anyway. <laughs> but my grandmother owned them for many, many, many years. And then my dad did. And now I do. So here's how my room is looking now. It's very messy. Um, I have Desiree in her, you know what guys? All this is, is a bin. Like a bin. <laughs> a bin on top of another bin. I don't want to move these. These are more pictures from my friends. My dad's friend, his name is Ray. I had this, <clears throat> excuse me, in my bedroom since I was a, like a child. So that's why I have it now. It's Maybe that's why I love the color pink so much. And that is my favorite color in the whole world, that pink. Maybe because I used to stare at this picture all the time. When I was a kid, it was in my bedroom until, um, well, since birth until I was uh, 19 when I went off to university. So, um, it needs work though. It looks like it's, because all it is is like, okay, wait, not that one. Oh, this thing is broken anyway. All it is is like wood. makeshift thing but 
I'll fix it the best I can. This is extremely heavy. It was in my dad's room, but it's broken, this part. But no one wanted it, so I said, I'll have it. And this was in my dad's bedroom. This is so cool. I have to clean it up, it looks like. That was in his room at the airport. Oh, it looked like maybe it got damaged a bit. So I don't know. But I am planning on getting a cabin, an off grid cabin. So I would love to put these in my cabin on our land. So, so yeah. So I have Desiree looking so sweet and comfortable. She is my drink and wet preemie silicone from Timu. Um, over here I have Emuk. She is uh, my Inuit baby uh, replica. She is a replica Asia, I think. Um, yeah, I need work. I put this on the wall as my new YouTube background. Um, her I received recently, but I have no name for her yet, and I don't even, I never re-rated her. She's from Amazon, I believe. Oh, somebody must have been <laughs> touching her. That's okay. I always wash my hands before I touch the babes. Uh, she's, some. That's my summer rain girl. She is an authentic. And same with that's my recent trade baby that I received. So I'm gonna have to redo. I'm gonna have to go through. There's just a box I have to go through. Uh, there's my ET that I bought from Amazon. She is my. I don't think I showed her, did I? She is a replica, another replica of mine. See, I covered up all my babies, so my sons, my one son wouldn't be scared. <laughs> I still have those to go through. I just shoved things in there when I was making room for them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Francis bought me a Knight Rider. I loved Knight Rider growing up. I own some shirts. Uh, this was... I'm pretty sure I gave that to my dad as a gift many, many years ago. They are figurines of Kirk, Spock, and McCoy. Um, yeah, they're. I'm glad he kept them in the original box. Maybe he didn't really care to display them. But they are all there. They even have... Oh, okay, I'm not... But yeah, okay, I'll pause you. So here they even have like their communication devices. It looked like he didn't even take them out. Phase your guns. So yeah, that's cool. I'm glad that I have them back. Sorry, I need to adjust my... So that's cool. This I found. That's of my dad. Now, it was out of the frame. It was just in an old, um, like, original cardboard frame that my grandmother had. And Nancy had this brand new frame. And she's like, do you want this frame? And I'm like, yeah, I'll put my dad in, in it. It's extremely heavy. So, I want to make sure that wherever I put that, it will be nice and safe. This bag I still have yet to go through. These are authentic seal skin. Uh, I forget what my half-sister told me that they're called uh, <laughs> Inu Inuit boots. Mm. Oh, this is a string for them. Ah. It's hard to do things with one hand. These are liners for them. And I still have yet to go through some more of my dad's things. 
But this is how the nursery is looking. I have a few of my Lulla Bella, Lava Bella dolls there. Um, I have to put her somewhere. I named her Tabitha. She's an authentic. She's an authentic Ariella asleep. Mm. I just put the Bowmaster in here. It was in the living room, but since Christmas, uh, I just put it in here. <laughs> this is a true born that I owned. I named him. Uh, I named him Eli. He is a drink and wet baby boy. Playpen. Excuse me. Oh. A playpen in there. I was thinking of putting up the playpen, but I'm not sure. I have Shana on the floor. This is another replica. I don't think I've ever showed anyone. She's a Liam replica. I named her Nicolette. <sighs> have to clean up oh, some more of my dad's things. Well, not all of it. Like that's that's like one of those beer beer things the base broke so I'll fix that so yeah I have a lot of work on oh this is my Ash and Drake breathing doll she is she breathes and has a heartbeat I named her Leandra oh this is just a closet that where I put all my extra clothes in and I don't need like my Halloween clothes anymore so, this is my extra <laughs> closet. Oh, and I still have, like, this, all that to go through, too. So, yeah, have lots. So, the thing is, I am going to try and upload you onto my new laptop. It does not allow my editor on there. I use a free editor, uh, Windows Live Movie Maker. They no longer support that on the new system. So, I'm going to try and do another editor, a free editor, of course. <laughs> I hope it works out. Um, yeah, so, new year, new things. Um... I'm not sure what else to say. I do I am enjoying my environment with my dad's things. I'll show you I'll give you one last look what I see. So there's my babies over there. My dad's things. I call that my dad's shrine. So my place of worship, my dad's things. I think his picture looks very good in here. That's, I wrote that piece. That's his uh, celebration of life eulogy, I guess. My carpet is very dirty. <laughs> it's very old. It's extremely cold out, you guys. It's like minus 42 degrees Celsius. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Fahrenheit? The temperature in the paw right now is minus 19 degrees Fahrenheit. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's minus 40. So it's minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Celsius? In the paw, it's currently minus 28 degrees Celsius. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's minus 40. Well, it was four, minus 42 earlier, so that's good. It is warming up. I, it is beautiful and sunny. I keep the curtains closed to act as insulation and the sun can warm up the curtains and then I'll show you but see yeah uh, our windows are old very old so but that's what it looks like we have hardly any snow but it's beautiful out the sun is shining it's so nice but extremely, extremely cold. So anyways, guys, I'll let you go for now. I hope that you're doing a great day. Love you so much. Thank you for being here, and I will upload new videos very soon. I don't know if you can see the ice. Can you see that ice? <laughs> yeah, our windows are very, very old. There's ice. 
Yes, I keep these closed act as an insulator let the sun heat up <sighs> I have my electric shell this is my newer laptop so yeah so yeah have a great day guys love you so much thank you so much for being here and until next time, hopefully very, very soon. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Love you. Bye, guys.